Hello! Hi guys, thank you so much for being here. just released a new single yesterday. Um, I'm sure you guys have probably already seen all my millions of posts about it, but I just wanted to do a live performance um, because all of us are quarantined at home right now. Um, and so I wanted to take the opportunity to play this live for the very first time. This is the uh, world premiere. Um, I have been desperately practicing <laughs> for the last hour. I hope I do okay. Uh, please leave your comments. I am not going to be participating in the chat because obviously I have to play the cello right now. Um, but if you want to leave comments in the chat or in the actual comments of the video below, I'll be able to see those after uh, the video. And then after I'm done playing through the song, which is only a few minutes, uh, I'll also be chatting with you guys a little bit, answering your questions in real time. Hi! Um, and uh, yeah, and then talking about the production of this song and how uh, we created the arrangement and did the production. So here we go. Uh, I am going to be playing along with the track so you can hear what it sounds like in entirety. Uh, I'm on my phone right now and I'll be playing the track off the computer. Okay, here we go. Wish me luck. <laughs> And I kind of messed up, but uh, that's okay. Thank you guys so much for being here. Um, so I wanted to tell you about how uh, we created this track. Wow, this lighting is really bright right now. Sorry, you guys. It's not very good. Hold on. I'm fired. This is terrible. Okay. Um, so I co-produced this track with the amazing Steve Mazzaro. Um, for those of you who are not familiar with Steve, 
You've heard, I'm sure, uh, all uh, many, many of his compositions in amazing films. He does work with Hans Zimmer, my friend Hans. Um, and so Steve actually scored the new James Bond movie together with Hans. Um, and he was in London working on the new James Bond movie uh, back in, I think it was January, February. Uh, so only a few, a couple months ago pre-coronavirus, um, and they were working on that in London, uh, and I was in Los Angeles. I'm now, I'm in Vegas right now. I, we moved to Las Vegas about a month ago. Um, also during the coronavirus situation, it was craziness, but anyway. Um, <laughs> so I was in LA, uh, Steve was in London, and then Frank Klepacki, who you guys might also know as my drummer, he's an amazing composer, video game music composer uh, in, in, in itself. He also is an amazing drummer. Uh, he toured with the Slide of Family Stone and many other groups, uh, and also he plays guitar and bass. <laughs> Very, very multi-talented. So what happened was um, I worked out the general arrangement first. I sent over my MIDI and the, tr and the ideas over to Steve, who was in London. Steve did his uh, magic programming. We made some adjustments. He sent the files back to me in LA. I recorded all my cello parts, so the acoustic and the electric. <laughs> and then we thought, you know what? We really need the sound of live drums, like a live band. So I thought, uh, oh my gosh, Frank uh, is, is amazing. Steve also sometimes on Game On, that he also co-produced with me. Um, he, Steve played the majority of all the guitar and bass parts, but because he was busy composing, you know, the new Bond movie um, music. So we had Frank, who lives in Las Vegas, my new neighbor, um, do the drums, the guitar, and the bass on the track. And so basically it was all done remotely. Um, and that's how we created the arrangement. Uh, and then we got it mastered uh, and sent it off. And there is a music video coming for this song. I'm very, very, very excited about it. Um, unfortunately, because of the situation outside, um, I had to, well, not cancel, but postpone the music video shoot, which will be in Los Angeles. So literally, as soon as it's responsible and safe to go back outside, I will reschedule and make a video for you guys. Um, yeah, if you have any questions, I'm gonna hang out with you guys for a little bit. It's, uh, oh, it's only been eight minutes since I've started. So um, I will answer some questions if you have any questions for me. Uh, okay, Juan says, how has life been in Vegas so far for you, Tina? We love Las Vegas. Um, there were a few general, like, main reasons that we moved. Um, one, all of my work is done either remotely, I would say 95%, so um, you guys know I play on uh, film and TV movie soundtracks, uh, video game soundtracks as kind of like my main, I call it my day job, but I also, it's also a passion, so um, I guess my day job. And instead of going to the studios over the years, because I've been doing this for almost 15 years, um, <laughs> and uh, I realized, you know, there's actually no reason for me to be in LA full time because I'm, I never go anywhere in person. I'm always indoors, actually, like right now. I'm either home or if I'm traveling for concerts, uh, I'm flying out and it doesn't matter where I fly out from. So that was one reason. Two, I could not stand the traffic and the congestion anymore. It was a little too much. It's a wonderful city. I'm grateful for all the, all the, all the uh, opportunities that I had living there and all the wonderful people that I've met and I still am friends with. Um, but I just wanted a bit more, you know, peace and quiet because I'm getting older. Um, <laughs> uh, and then, of course, uh, no state income tax tax, which is a big one, um, and no business tax, and also the cost of living. I mean, we're in a very big house now. It's 3,600 square feet, and it's literally $1,000 a month cheaper than the 1,200 square foot condo that we were living in in Los Angeles which is, you know, it is what it is. And so those are the benefits. And uh, we drove around a little bit before, you know, the lockdowns really started happening. Um, and we love the city. It's wonderful. Everything's spread out. Everything's very new. Uh, so I'm really enjoying it. And pizza and bagel, everything. Oh no, they're sleeping in the kitchen. I was too loud. Um, <laughs> they really love it here as well because there's a lot more space. We have a yard. Um, it's a nice neighborhood. So anyway, that, I hope that answers your question about how life in Vegas is. Uh, okay, we oh, uh, Swastix is another Sabaton um, collaboration. Yes, okay, so I think it's okay for me to talk about this because it has been, you know, indefinitely postponed, but I was supposed to go to Belarus, to Minsk, to shoot a mu music video with Sabaton, um, 
we we do have a collaboration coming out i hope at some point soon but everything was kind of thrown off because of covid um but we were supposed to go i believe it was actually yeah like two weeks ago i was supposed to be shooting a music video with them um so yes there there are collaborations coming up i'm sure that you know all of the live concerts and events and everything that have been canceled they'll they'll come back uh when it's safe and so please stay tuned i'm very very excited about that <laughs> um Okay, let's see. Uh, I can, you know, I can't see all of the comments in real time. Uh, can you, oh, Julian says, can you tell us about Cyberpunk? Yes, so I believe the Cyberpunk soundtrack, which I played on uh, mostly electric cello, was also delayed. Um, I don't know what is okay for me to talk about, except for the fact that I love the music. Um, I think it's gonna be an awesome game, and I hope you guys can check it out. Um, Oh, someone asked, what What are the names of my dogs? They are Pizza and Bagel. They're half siblings, so Pizza is a golden doodle, uh, and then Bagel is a full standard poodle. They're both black, and they're not here right now, so maybe, actually, Pizza, Bagel, come here. Oh, here comes Pizza. Okay, she has a quarantine haircut. Up, 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 come here. You wanna say hi? Can you guys see her? This is Pizza, oh, Bagel's here, and this is Bagel. Uh, their dad, Rambo, <laughs> gave them both haircuts in the garage the other day. I think he did a pretty good job. Okay, thank you guys. They're such good babies. Okay, um, let's see. No, uh, as far as I know, the Hans Zimmer Live 2021 shows are not canceled. Um, I, I hope, you know, that we'll all be okay by then to continue on with normal life. Um, by the way, speaking of Hans Zimmer Live, if you go to the Hans Zimmer Live Instagram page, so the official at Hans Zimmer Live, I will be doing a live interview uh, with Joel, uh, Joe, who is their social media person. So we'll be talking about my experiences uh, on tour with Hans, working with Hans, everything Hans, um, <laughs> on Monday. So if you go to the Hans Zimmer Live uh, page on Instagram, there'll be details about the time um, and how to watch it. It'll just be in the stories. Okay, um, Faced Albany, New York says, can you give us a rundown of your setup? Yes, yeah, so really, I've done a lot of videos. I actually did a video uh, two weeks ago about my studio setup here in Vegas at my new studio. But just really quickly, um, my general setup is that I play the Yamaha electric cello, which you just saw me play. That is my 1880 Ghana Bernadelle cello guo, my beloved old man cello, classical cello. Um, I use a Helix LT, don't know if you can see it here. Right there, amazing. It has completely replaced all of my old, you know, analog pedals, everything. I am playing through an amazing Line 6, uh, it's like a speaker slash PA situation. So I don't play even through an amp anymore. And usually when I go on tour, not usually, when I go on tour, um, I only bring my pedal board and there are, uh, it's a stereo out, so that goes directly to the board. Um, and sometimes we'll have like shells, like fake amps, just to make it look epic. Um, you know, if it were up to me, I'd have like an entire wall of amps behind me for the look, but as far as sonically, I find that the Helix is amazing. Hey, 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 shh. I'm doing a live YouTube video, you gotta be quiet. Sorry guys. Um, uh, somebody mentioned something about my, my diet. I've been, yes, I today is day seven of my diet. I've been doing Nutrisystem. I've lost uh, four, uh, you know, I'm usually, I, I was teetering around 130, which is, that's, I know I'm not, overweight but um i'm five foot four and 130 and i've always been about 115 in the past so i gained like 15 pounds burp, burp, burp. Um, no i'm just kidding it's not you know what what shape you're comfortable uh with being is a totally a personal thing and for me i just wanted to get more not super super skinny because i don't think that's attractive for women i i like when women are voluptuous but i wanted to be more fit um, and to lose a bit of fat and gain muscle. So anyway, I've lost about four pounds. I feel better already. I've been eating a lot of vegetables. I haven't had any Domino's pizza for a week, which is insane, because I was eating that like almost every day. Um, so yeah, I feel good. I've been working out every day. I've been doing um, like aerobics videos. I have a jazzercise burlesque dance video that I've been doing. I've been doing my Pilates chair stuff, some, some uh, free weights, running around, random stuff. Okay. Um, how about one or two more questions and then I need to get going because uh, I have two movies that I'm uh, recording some stuff for remotely today, uh, both actually for Hans. Um, okay, what, 
Will you perform, uh, Rem says, will you perform in France? I hope so. Uh, you know, right now it's kind of impossible for anybody to say when the next shows are gonna be. So um, please stay tuned to my website, social media. I always post way too much, but I always post uh, exactly when it's okay to announce new shows or new events. So stay tuned. Um, I've been playing the cello since I was seven and a half. Uh, and, oh my gosh, now there's a lot of, do, okay, Anna wants to know about my arranging process. Yes, for the most part, I do all of my own arrangements, or at the very least, my, you know, the instruments that I'm playing. I also do program. I'm trying to, um, composing and programming just like playing an instrument uh, is all about practice. So I'm trying to practice that and take the time to really familiar, uh, familiar, Sorry guys, I can't talk right now. Familiarize myself um, with being a better programmer and buying more samples. <laughs> um, and so, yeah, I, I do it mostly myself. And uh, I, if you have any questions about how to record yourself, I, of course, I also have a video about that that I released two weeks ago here on YouTube. Um, oh, I see it. Dale, thank you so much, Dale, for your support. I really appreciate it. Um, oh, I really, really appreciate it. Thank you so much. <laughs> okay, guys, thank you so much. Um, I would love to answer your questions and comments. If you want to leave a comment, not in the super chat section, because that, I think it kind of disappears after this live stream uh, is over. But if you go to the actual comment section of this video, leave me a comment, or you can go to Instagram and comment, um, or onto my Facebook or whatever, and I'll, I'll do my best to get back to you ASAP. I do have to go work. I have to go record for a couple um, uh, films. One is a action film. And it's the second one of a series. Uh, and the other one has four letters. So, okay. All right. Love you guys. Thank you so much for being here. I so appreciate it. Take care. Bye.